Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, oh, is is this, is this is this better? Is this better? I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I tried I tried combing it. Ow, ow. But I only just need to get a shower and shit. Um, I'm gonna go with this natural fluffiness, natural whatever. But in this video, I wanted to give advice to anyone like in secondary school or in high school. I don't know about American high school. I don't know the nuance, but I know about UK secondary school, and. A bit, sharing a bit of regret I had, and I wish I had, you know, I wish I had done beforehand. First one's definitely just like talking to girls. Basic, basic talking to girls. Yeah, it's very basic. Get I had, this girl has a crush on me, but I'm like, yeah, bullshit. And then the second one is definitely the second one. Wait, first one, second one is definitely not working hard enough. You know, if I worked harder, if I had, you know, truly put my head down to the grindstone. And push myself to the absolute limit. I don't think I'm gonna have as much regrets as I've as I have to this day. So that'd be, that's probably my second regret. And my third regret definitely is is not going through the system faster. You know, in year seven, like the first year, like you're a freshman, you can do your final exams when the time's right. You can just like you can show that you're really hardworking, and you no, I, this happened to me. I don't know if, if it's still the case because this was like fucking seven, eight years ago now. But no, seven years ago. But like at that time, I they they saw that I was like a bit of like a like pretty smart for my age. They're like you know what, you can just do your GCSEs. Like little Jimmy, how serious are you? Do your GCSEs, get the hell out of here. I could just done college, get that's done. I'm like 15 in college, finishing college, university maybe not. And then I got like 15 to 20, I can still go to university. And people think it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic because everyone else did it. Everyone else didn't do it. But I'm sure there's like. A lot of people that have done it, like my my little cousin in outside London, she already finished her music uh, GCSE and her language GCSE. She already finished two GCSEs. She's doing the rest like like per year per basis, but she already done like um, English English thing. Her grades are good enough. She can just she can just leave. <laughs> like that's just it's so weird to me. But like everywhere you go, especially at that age as well, it's so weird to me because it like it just you got a bit of hard work. Everything's like everything comes easy. And you'll be treated like a, some fucking child genius prod prodigy. You can just use fucking chat GPT and Google and Wikipedia and grind those things instead of grinding video games like everyone else. And then before you know it, you'll be ahead of everyone else in life by like miles, by hundreds of kilometers, hundreds of miles, thousands of miles even. But when you're 15, you finish, think about it, 11, you're to year 7. One year, you're 12, right? One year passes by, you're 12 now. Oh, what what age? I think I, I was there. I was eleven, I believe. But let's say you're twelve. By thirteen, you're finished with GCSE. This is like a ultra hypothetical example. So by thirteen, you're already finished with GCSE. Two years for A level. You work extremely hard. You know you're always sitting in front of the class. You're always you know you're always like head down to the grindstone. Not only when you're when you're like fucking little kid like that, like the amount the amount of like older girls you're gonna get as well, especially as a guy. I don't know about girls, but that's not. Big thing when you're a girl, but when you're when you're a guy, it's gonna be it's gonna be fucking sick, for the most part. I'm not sure, soy boy. <laughs> this is your blue pill, soy boy. But then, like, you're 15, and then you're you're done. I don't know, I don't know how to say this. You're, you're literally done. Everyone else is like still in school, fucking about, but you're finished. You might miss out with some on some friends, but you have a fucking full 365 days to make friends. Like, okay, and even then, like, my secondary school friends, I barely talk to them. And a common thing I hear about this, like when when you know, kids, um, like um, at that age, they're like, yeah, I'm like, you can just skip school, and like like what skip school, like like bunk? No, 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 no. You can just skip school. You could speed run school. You could speed run everything. Hell, if they figured out, hey, one year he's in GCC, what the fuck? What's going on? You have good communication skills. You read books, like fucking how to win friends and influence people. You're you're able to orate yourself to a high degree. Like, hey, my family's going through a struggle. Like, just a fucking hypothetical example. For, like, this is just an example. Hey, my family's going through a really like hard time, struggling time. And, you know, I, I decided that even though I'm only fucking 11, 12 years old, this, this is something I really regret not doing. And people, think that my, and people tell me, like, you're fucking delusional. But I had this thought at the time. I just didn't do it. Because I was a lazy fuck. I, yeah, I'm 12 years old. My family's going through a tough time. I really want to get through my education system so I can start working. And, you know, I, I really want to, like, start going and, you know, gog up in life. Uh, 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 uh. And I think that getting my education is extremely important. And I think that, you know, working hard is extremely important. And I've shown that so far in, you know, my uh, my academic uh, abilities. 
yapping. It's not like yapping, but it really isn't because to a to an adult, like a full, a full grown adult, like a thirty year old adult, they're like, holy shit, this guy's a fucking child prodigy, which is what I was seeing as a bit at the time. But then what happened? I fucked around. I got lazy. I got complacent, and then I became like like I'm I'm just stuck at eighteen years old trying to pick up the pieces that I dropped all the way back then. You might think to yourself if you're hearing this like. And you, if you're older, you're like, what the fuck, this video doesn't really apply to you, but it still kind of does. I think it will still be valuable. But like, if if you're if you're a lot of common complaint I get if you're like if you're that age, they're like, oh yeah, but I'm not ready. Like I don't feel like I'm ready. I don't feel like it's it's time. Bitch, it doesn't even feel like it's time for me right now. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Think about it. Sixteen is when kids start going to fucking. A, a, a college a, to do A levels. Eighteen is when kids got going to university on average. Bro, you'd be fifteen and you're fucking like you can you can go to you can postpone university for another half a decade. You can start a business. You can start grinding. You can start doing whatever the fuck you want. You can start a YouTube channel, motherfucker. Start a YouTube channel, and then after five years, there's no doubt in my mind you're consistent every every single year. You upload like a video a day, three hundred sixty five times five. This is a pure pure hypothetical example. 365 times 5 You have 1,825 videos And these could be high quality videos You'll be out there It's fucking 20 years old Like <laughs> It's like seeing Iman Gaji before He was 14 and he, 13 when he was grinding By the time he's 18 he has 4 years of entrepreneurial experience And like, even though he says himself like Yeah I had the perfect situation to, you know, become successful. Bro, a lot of kids these days have a perfect situation to become successful as well. They just choose not to. They choose to be complacent. They choose to take the easy path. The path most, the path most walked. And like, as a result, their older self suffers. Their future self suffers. Me. I'm sitting here right now in front of my fucking phone. Making a video. Like, you know, grinding my head now. Put, like, grinding now. Because my, my young self didn't grind. And then the reward that I... I, I won't see the rewards, if anything... My future self, myself will see the rewards. It's the same with like a fitness thing. Like you won't, you won't see progress in your fitness journey in the early years. Like you only see it, you only see it after. You know what I'm saying? I used to be extremely, extremely obese. I think I could, I, I credit to that to my um, like a work ethic as well. But like even then, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like I, when I was starting to work out when I was 16, 17, like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't do it because, like, I wanted results the next day or the next 90 days or anything like that. I did it because I knew that I needed to start fucking working hard so my future self can benefit. Not me. Where's my sparkling water? So your advice is just skip school and just, like, yeah, become an adult as soon as you can. The quicker you become a goal, the adult, the quicker like, like you can just speed run the mistakes. Like an entrepreneurship, everyone says you have to speed run mistakes, right? Yeah, like you make all the mistakes. Like, bro, imagine being like fifteen, finishing A level. You already like fucking got like student bursary. You can fucking in the UK, you can hop on benefits if you really want to. <laughs> Extra three grand a year or four grand a year, something like that. And they might even give you more money because then like if you're if you're like oh yeah, I'm really struggling and it's really hard. <laughs> No one's gonna hire a fifteen year old for a lot of money. So you could just save that money and you can invest in a business. And the only way you can make a lot of money at that, that time is business YouTube channel. Or YouTube is effectively a business at this point. So you could do something like that instead. Yeah. That's that's exactly what's uh, what's happening there. That's exactly the advice that I would give my younger self. That's the advice that I would give anyone in school. Try to skip your in your high school can you get your high school diploma early? Yes, can you become a D1 college athlete? Maybe, yes, okay, become a D1 college athlete, find a fucking sport that you, that you like, bro, grind your work extremely hard, you work so hard that you look as weird, you know what I'm saying? I said in the previous video as well, I'll try, I'll try to find a video for you guys, but like, um, there, there was this guy who was like, you know, we must stay focused, no, no, no that's not must stay, we must stay focused, that's, um, that's, uh, that preacher dude. Other dude who's like fuck clubs, fuck partying, and the more weird you are, the higher dedication is to your craft. Your high, the higher your dedication is to becoming better. And like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it's just working hard now is all that matters. 
And everyone says, oh yeah, but I just want to enjoy my life. Like what, playing video games, playing fucking Fortnite, Lego Fortnite, Lego Chapter 2. Oh yeah, I can be a streamer, I can be like XQC. No, no the fuck you can't. XQC streams like fucking 13 hours a day. He streams most of his years. Like most of his life is on Twitch. <laughs> and then a fucking kick now. Like you're not XQC, get the fuck out of here. Like anyone at the top of their, their game, the top of their sport, the top of anything, it requires a lifetime worth of dedication to become the best. Apex Predator even. like we, I, don't, I remember a guy who I know who was like Apex Predator, he was like a triple Apex Predator in Apex Legends, like the highest fucking rank. Oh, my name is a fucking barbecue again, it's so annoying. But anyways, I, I knew this guy, yeah, who was like triple predator, and he used to play fucking 12 hours a day. I'm like, do you even have a fucking job? Or he's like 15 at the time. He's like, nah, I, I finished school. Like, what do you mean finished school? He, he did exactly what I just told you about. He just finished school. He did his exams, he passed, and he left. And he's fucking is at home playing Apex Legends 12 hours a day. I, th I heard he wants to be a streamer. But he doesn't stream that much, honestly. I think he's just doing it because you know, he just wants to be a triple pred. But yeah, it's it, anything like to be at the top, to be the best. Like you're gonna have to, even if you're like a genius. Like there's plenty of other fucking geniuses out there. Like there's nothing. There's, being a genius is nothing new. Like even even then, you know what I'm saying, guys. It's just it's gonna like th those those chess sisters. I don't know if you guys know about that. Those those chess sisters that are like they're still like the highest ranked, highest rated chess prodigies ever because like they fucking the parents like <laughs> their parents like agreed to do a science experiment with them, literally playing chess with them when they were children. Like you know what I'm saying, guys. They they had it from birth. So and they're still like the highest rated women's chess. Like chess, chess players of all time. So that's the advice I would give someone younger than me. I'm not ready. I hear that so much. Bitch, I'm not ready fucking now, man. <laughs> I'm not ready now. It's been years. I'm still not ready. I'm still, bro. It's not the fucking work hard. Like any moment in, in life, you're gonna have to work hard. Why don't you just do it now? At least, like. The 18 is still young to like be doing your, your your grind years, but you know, for me, and looking at looking at my life, like I haven't, I've only experienced 18 years of my life. This is the oldest I've been so far, and the youngest I've been so far simultaneously. It's probably the same for you as well. It's the same for everyone. So, when you have a unique situation like this, like you only you can you can be, you beat yourself up often because it's the only reality you've ever known. I, like, you think you might think to yourself and cope to yourself, like, oh yeah, but at least I'm not thirty and I'm grinding now, which is like a, a, like a lot of the, uh, the case a lot of the time. But like, yeah, but I I am not thirty. Uh, that's not reality. I see. The now it matters the most. The present is a gift. The past is history. The present is a gift. The future is a mystery. You know what I'm saying, guys? Some Uruguay type shit. Like that's all that matters. The present, all that matters. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Stay safe.